In this lesson, we're going to pick up where we left off working with this master customer data. Now, I know that I have some other data that I'd like to eventually relate to this data because there's some data that's going to provide some invoice information that I want to combine with all of this. Now, all I do very simply from my home tab is get more data. Now, I happen to know that I have this data in a TXT file. I also have it as an Excel file, but I want you to see how we can get data from both file formats. So if I click on Get Data, you're going to see here I have this text or CSV file. I click on that, and now it's going to take me to my class folder, and you're going to see very simply is this invoice data.txt. I double click on that, and it's going to take us to something slightly different than what we saw before. Because now this is a text file, it's going to look a little bit different. But guess what? I have the same option to be able to transform this data or load the data. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and just say transform the data. And there you have it. Now, some things have changed. You're going to notice here that my queries, in addition to the master customer, I now have invoice data. You're going to see here this data looks exactly the same. My workspace and ribbon looks exactly the same, and all my options are exactly the same. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to right click on it, and then very simply, I'm going to just choose delete, and then that data set is gone. The whole query is gone, and then I can go right back to where I was before. I'm going to go ahead and say close and apply. And this time, I'm going to bring in that same set of data as an Excel workbook, and then we're going to go next level with the different types of transformations that we can do. So this time, I'm just going to choose Excel workbook. I'm going to bring in invoices. And the data is exactly the same. And once again, I'm going to choose invoice data. I'm going to choose transform data. And we're going to go a little bit deeper with certain options that we can do within our Power Query Editor. So let's go ahead and take a look at this data here. I don't actually need this to be um, a number. I'm going to go ahead and change that to text. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and say replace current. That's great. All it's doing is basically saying, hey, you know what? There was a step there to bring it all in. I don't want to have a new step for that. I just want to replace the original step that came in in terms of actually bringing in the data. All right, so let's go over here to our customer ID. Same situation. I'm going to make this text, replace current. And now let's go over to here to a little bit further to the right. And I want you to notice something kind of interesting. The data that I'm bringing in has all of my months and days and my years all separated out. And then notice how they're also as numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge this data together. So we're going to learn about something a little bit more advanced than what we've already covered. Because certainly we can change all the different formats and all that stuff. But when something comes in as separate columns, it's going to be a little bit of a different process. Okay, so how do we do this? So the first thing I want to tell Power Query is that I would like to merge the month combined with the day and then combining with the years. So what we have to do is we have to select each column heading in the order that we want it to ultimately be displayed as. So I'm going to choose month. I'm going to hold down the control key, click day. So again, the order that I select these things is going to be very important. And lastly, I'm going to choose year. Okay. And now I'm going to go over here to this new tab we have not discussed yet is transform. And then finally, merge columns. See there, that is right in the middle. This is going to pop up. And it's going to say, hey, listen, you have a separator. Something's going on there. How do I know when I bring it in how you want these to be merged? If you say none, essentially they're all just going to come in as 112023. I don't want that. I want them to come in as a forward slash. Very nice. And then notice here it's going to give me a column name. I'm just going to go ahead and just say date of purchase. And then very simply click OK. And now we'll see something pretty magical that just happened. Notice all of those other columns have disappeared and they merged together into one. Now, am I done yet? No, because the data type is still text. So very simply, I can just simply left click on that ABC and then just change that to date. And now when I bring it in, it's going to be a date and then it's going to look at it as a date. It's going to treat it as a date in terms of a timeline. And it's going to do that for every single aspect inside of this data set. 
Now understand that the counterpart to merging individual columns is the ability to split columns. And you can see, there it is, split columns, and you can split it by a delimiter. So if you wanted to do the opposite of this, your delimiter would be that forward slash, and then it would find all the forward slashes, and then it would separate them out. So we'd have one in one column, another one in another column, and 2023 in another column. Pretty neat. Okay, now let's go ahead and transform our sales into dollars. Very simply, left click on that, and we're gonna say fixed decimal number. That's great, see a little dollar sign pops up. And then let's just take a look at maybe one or two other things before we leave here that you may wanna do. Notice here is this text columns, and then right next to split columns is this ability to do format. So if I click on description here, and I go back over to here to format, notice here if I wanted to make everything in lowercase, uppercase, capitalize each word, I can very, very easily do that. So if I just try that right now, I'm gonna say capitalize each word. Notice how everything is now capitalized. If I change my mind, I can very easily come back to that, and it's a giant undo for that. All right, beautiful, so let's go ahead and just say back to home, close and apply, close and apply. And you can see it's loading everything in, beautiful. And now, how many data sets do I have? Well, let's look on the right-hand side. There's my invoice data, there's my master customer. And if we open this up, you're gonna see there's all my column headings. And also notice how it designates each of the numbers with this little sigma, saying that these in fact can be calculated. If I click on this, you're gonna see, bam, there's all my different column headings. Let's come back over to here to table view. And my table view is for what is currently selected. Go over here to invoice data. My table view is for what is currently selected as well. So very good. Now we have two data sets to work with to then create a relationship between the two of them to be able to then analyze it. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.